in the previous segment we understood how this impulse is generated now we will take up the next step that is conduction of this impulse which is called conduction or propagation of impulse how does this impulse travel on that fiber so now what we have seen is because of differential permeability and opening of sodium channels a region of the membrane has become differentially permeable and now sodium ions have moved in so the inner side becomes positive electropositive and the outer becomes electronegative this was the place where this stimulus originated and this sodium ion which moved in that has made this inner membrane electropositive now these charges they move in a small or local circuits in a particular direction this negative charge attracts the positive charge that means the positive charge from the area of depolarization is attracted by the negative charge in the polarized area here there has nothing happened only this was the area where the membrane permeability changed so this positive charge is attracted by the negative and same thing happens from here the positive charge is attracted by the negative charge on the outer side of the membrane because of this what is going to happen is this positive will come here if we draw the membrane this positive will come here it will again become electronegative and this will become electronegative and the positive charge moves here so what has happened or what is the situation at number one position same we called it polarized second where the stimulus originated we called it depolarized and now what has happened to that depolarized state it has again regained the same polarity it was electropositive outside and electronegative inside and where has that depolarization moved it has moved from position 2 to 3 now again all along it is the same <coughs> sorry so now what is going to happen again this charge will be attracted by the negative and it will be attracted by this one so next stage this is same position 1 position 2 same position 3 gets repolarized and position 4 will get depolarized that means that small circuit it has moved from 2 to 3 3 to 4 position so it is slowly going to move in a direction and that is what is known as conduction or propagation of that impulse now this is what is happening if the nerve fiber is non myelinated if the fiber is myelinated then what is going to happen suppose this is the nerve fiber and here is this myelin sheath myelin acts as insulator so when myelin is acting as insulator here <coughs> those sodium channels potassium channels are <coughs> sorry not there so this is the only place where these channels are <coughs> so exchange of substances can take place here and which substance are we talking about we are talking about the ion so in this case it is electropositive outside electronegative inside electropositive outside electronegative inside when stimulus develops here from normal polarized condition it will become depolarized that means what will happen is the positive charge will move in that is sodium moves in and comparatively the inner will become electronegative this is normal this is normal so what has happened is this is the membrane we have shown these membranes by a single line here we are talking about the complete neuron so this is extracellular fluid and this is the inside part what was the normal situation normal situation was it was electropositive outside electronegative inside when this area receives the stimulus what happened in this part of the membrane the membrane permeability changed the sodium channels opened 
and the sodium ions moved in. When sodium ions move in, the inner side becomes electropositive and the outer will become electronegative. So this is the place where the impulse is generated. Now, same thing has happened here. But in this case, the loops are like very close. Here, the negative charge on the inner side of the normal polarized area will attract this positive charge and this will be attracted by the negative on the outer side. Here the loop is bigger and the impulse which was going from position 1, sorry, 2 to 3 to 4 and so on, now it is going to jump from one node of Ranvier to the next node of Ranvier. After some time, when this charge gets attracted, how will this structure look? If we draw it again the same way, what is going to happen here is, now this will become original, it will become depolarized and here the charges are going to flip. That means positive goes here, positive has gone here and this positive has reached here. So depolarization which started at this position has shifted from first node of Ranvier to the second. That means it is jumping from one node of Ranvier to the second. From here it will jump here and it is going to go from node to node. Node is the area where there is no myelin sheet. Such kind of conduction which takes place on a myelinated sheet. On myelinated sheet or myelinated membrane is known as saltatory conduction. It is called saltatory conduction. That means it jumps from one node to the next. Impulse jumps from one node of Ranvier to other. This type of conduction is 20 times faster as compared to the conduction which is taking place on the non-myelinated nerve. 20 times faster than non-myelinated. That means this is an advantage. Having myelin sheath actually is an advantageous for two, three purposes. One purpose we have seen that the rate at which the impulse gets conducted is 20 times faster. Plus, wherever this ion exchange is taking place, there are these pumps, sodium pumps, potassium pumps. We will talk about sodium potassium pumps also. So wherever these pumps are there, there is ATP required. So at every point there would be a energy consumed. Whereas here, energy is consumed here, then here, then here. So there are no sodium potassium pumps or sodium pumps here. So this is a more energy conserving process. Plus it is faster also. So this is the second step that is conduction or propagation. Now what is going to happen? Now we will take up repolarization. That is the third step. Let us take the third step, that is repolarization. In repolarization, the nerve fiber is going to regain the original polarity. So, what happened in the first stage? Normal membrane, electropositive on the outer side, electronegative on the inner side. When it receives a stimulus, Say it receives a stimulus at this point, then what happens is we have seen that in this region where it receives stimulus, the polarity, sorry, the permeability of the membrane changes. Sodium ions, they move in and it becomes depolarized. So this is polarized, this is depolarized. Now, this membrane is going to become polarized again. Many a times uh, students have a confusion that at the same place we are talking about sodium ion coming in, now potassium ion going out. We have to visualize that the membrane, though we are drawing it in the form of a line, 
the membrane actually is a flat surface like this. So if it is a flat surface, it has many proteins which are coming out. So we can compare it like this. Say these are all the proteins which are coming out of the membrane. So if this is the membrane which is visible to us, it's a flat surface. This is sodium pump. This is potassium pump. This is sodium potassium pump. So all of this, these are pretty much in the same area. Because we are drawing it like a line, we either see only sodium channel or we draw only potassium channel. So in that area of the membrane, all those proteins are there. So when it gets depolarized, it is only one channel which is open. The other channel is closed. But when it is getting repolarized, it is going to be some other channel which is opening. We, we said that at this time, action potential is generated. And the action potential was plus 45 millivolts. As soon as this action potential is generated, sodium channels close and potassium channels open. So what is happening in the membrane now? If we draw this membrane and let us say this is the sodium channel and here let us draw this potassium channel. So at this action potential, the sodium channel now closes. It closes like this. So all those sodium ions which came in during this polarize, sorry, depolarization, they remain inside. Only potassium channels are open. So what, which ion is actually moving out? It is the potassium ion which is moving out. So again, the outside is getting more and more positively charged ions and it becomes electropositive. But which ion is responsible for this electropositive nature now at this state is potassium, not sodium. This is the sodium channel. And this one is the potassium channel. So at this stage, when sodium channels close, these channels are regulated by voltage. So at plus 45 millivolts, which is action potential, sodium channels, these gates, they close. And potassium channel opens. So all those potassium ions which were inside, they start moving out. So, outside of the membrane again gets more and more positively charged ions and it becomes electropositive. But this is electropositive due to potassium ions, not because of sodium ions. So, there are three things. Normally, membrane is repol oh, sorry, polarized, that is at rest. So, this is at rest. And which ion is responsible for this electropositive nature is sodium ion. When it gets depolarized, we call it action. When something is happening, that is impulse is actually or stimulus is actually received and the impulse has been generated. At this time, which ion has moved in is sodium ion at that place. Now, third step, that is repolarization. This membrane, look, let me draw it like this. So now, what is the situation? The outer side has again regained the positive charge in this area. And the wave of polarization has traveled in the form of that loop. This positive charge which has gone here, or the electropositive nature which the membrane attains, that is because of potassium ions. At this stage, if this fiber again receives a stimulus, when the stimulus is received, what happens is the membrane permeability is going to change and the channels would open. Which channels are going to open? Sodium channel. But is there sodium ion outside? So even if this channel opens, the sodium ions cannot come in so inner side of the membrane cannot become electropositive. So after this, the membrane is termed as repolarized. It has regained its electropositive nature on the outer side. But what we have to remember is it has regained it because of 
potassium ion. Now, how is this correction done? That correction takes place in the fourth step, that is the refractory period or the resting phase. So next we will take up the refractory period.